Hello everyone, welcome back to DCS World and Enigma's Cold War server, where recently I had pretty much the longest sustained dogfight I've ever had in an A10. I was completely defensive the whole time. Thought it might be pretty interesting to go over, have a look, see what I did well, see what I could have improved on, and maybe give some tips to all of you who are either trying to defend in an A10 or trying to attack an A10. So let's jump into where the fight begins. I'm turning here in to finish off a weapon strike, launching missiles at bunkers here. And I do notice on the way that I've got a MiG-19 on the way. Yeah, it's on my RWR. And it's probably the first thing I'm going to bring up here is that the MiG-19 probably would have had to jump on me if he hadn't been locking me on RWR, but the A-10 has really good uh, RWR, really clear, and so I knew what direction he was coming in, knew to go evasive, and managed to dodge his first pass there. And I know that the farmer does have a radar gun sight, but I think it's probably worth turning it off on that first pass. It's not really going to be that helpful, and if I had been going in a straight line, he probably would have caught me. Anyway, here I'm doing my best to stay defensive. I do have friendlies here. There is an F5 and a Sabre in the mix. I'm just trying to turn into this guy as much as possible to deny him any space to make a gun pass. I do briefly get confused, I don't see that Sabre very well, I think it might have been a, well at the time I thought it may have been a MiG-15. So readjusted my aim, can see the farmer coming in behind me here, so I just tighten it up a bit, just as he's passing, he shoots by, he's got loads and loads of speed, and this is where the Caucus map does come to haunt me a bit. If I had uh, aim nines of like any kind here, I probably could have got a nice splash. But on Caucus, the A10 doesn't get anything on Enigma's Cold War, so you're just dealing with the gun. Which is fair enough. Uh, A10 would be overpowered with a missile on it. But here I am struggling a bit. Do briefly lose sight of the guy against the ground turn into him again, drink a little bit so that he misses his shot. Again, reversing my turn repeatedly. If I can get into the one circle, I can nicely win the one circles here. The A10 has such a small radius of turn. Uh, at this point, I thought at the time I just shot down that A10, the F5. I gave a little bit of a burst kind of hopeful on the farmer not quite seeing the F5. The F5 explodes into a fireball. At this point I'm kind of guilt wrapped thinking, oh crap, I've just shot down a teammate. Eventually do see the um, chat log, although it's a bit glitched out there saying I was the one who got shot down. Uh, it was a MiG-21 that shot down that F5. I don't know where the MiG-21 was in all of this. Uh, but I think the Sabre turns off here to engage him, because I don't actually see. Uh, but thankfully, I didn't actually team kill here. It was a bit of a risky burp that I did, uh, but I fired about 30 rounds, which really isn't much coming from the A-10. And really would have been bad luck to kill the friendly there, so do just need to watch that. But uh, good that I didn't do a friendly kill. Here I'm trying to be a bit sneaky, I do still have a Maverick armed, and I was seeing if with the new model if I could get the Maverick to lock the farmer. I repeatedly try that throughout this engagement, but it turns out it, it just can't. Uh, the Mavericks will not lock a flying air target, at least not one that's above you. Apparently you can lock helicopters, I've not managed to do that yet. Um, but really can't seem to lock this uh, MiG here. So I do make a mistake here. The farmer does do the right thing. He takes it vertical. He has far more thrust than I do. 
that huge thrust to weight compared to the A10. And so in trying to keep up with them, I do stall out. In my A10 tips video, I did caution against farmers and uh, fish beds just simply taking it vertical with the A10. That really only applies if the A10's got missiles, because you do open yourself up to a cheeky missile. But uh, no risk of that here. He does then slip onto my six. Thankfully, the friendly saber in the area sees that, calls in that I should break right. Not in the greatest energy state, but I do manage to turn just in time, thanks to his cool. Farmer tries to keep up with the turn, he starts to stall out, and that's just bled off all of the energy advantage he has. We can see that I'm now starting to outright him, even in the T circle. And the A10 really does turn sharply. Uh, the farmer can outturn most things, but against Sabres and A10s, he really doesn't want to end up in a right fight, and that's exactly where he's ended up in. Uh, briefly here, I check my airspeed because I was on comms with Candy and he was asking me my speed um, and I was refusing to check for a while. But now the farmer does find himself in trouble. There is a mirage that's in the mix as well. I try and get a burst there. Really don't lead it enough. Really struggling with my energy here. Uh, at this point... I kind of feel bad for the farmer. He is now on a 3 on 1, but at the same time he was trying to bully me in an A10, so I don't feel too bad and want to keep up the pressure on him. And I really don't want to try disengaging because right now my main advantage is we're in a knife fight. As long as I keep it in a knife fight, keep the short range, I should be able to um, limit his chances to shoot. So he starts being a bit more cautious here and a bit more sensible again. He does take it vertical to get away from the saber. He's looping back around. I'm just trying to keep up my turn here. We see another saber entering the area. So we're really outnumbering this poor guy. But he seems to have lost interest in me at this point, and he's turning his attention towards the Mirages. Try and get here, I just overturned a little bit, would have been a good gun solution if I just turned a little bit less, but managed to mess that up. I mean, he's doing a good job keeping defensive during all of this but not really in his best interest with so many enemies around him, it's only a matter of time. And he doesn't seem to have a lot of friendlies coming in, most of his team are on the northern edge of the map, we're right down the south here, so he is a bit on his own. So he's now given up on me completely, he's really trying to engage the Mirage. I do bleed off speed a bit too much there. Uh, my plane is pretty much uh, clean at this point. I've just got a single Maverick. I dumped all the rest of the ordnance on targets before the engagement. That's definitely been helping me here. Uh, a heavily weighed down A10 would not have survived this long, so if I still had my ordnance, I would have dropped it long ago. Even if you're keeping up a turn, you can still drop ordnance just by dropping bombs as normal. So he's going into a vertical loop again. He dives in on the Mirage. I then lose track of the multiple targets in the area. Candy there's in an A turn just on the left hand side, just trying to join in. I. As I said, get confused, lose track, see a saber. Thought I'd lost eyes on him, but he's actually pulled out in front of me here. Here he goes, vertical, right in front of the saber. Saber does get a couple of hits on him there. 
I go in for guns, I miss completely, but he bails at this point. The, uh, I believe the Sabre there gets the, the kill. Uh, no, apparently F5 got the kill. And then a missile slams into him just to finish the, the day. So, yeah, that was quite a long engagement. And randomly there, Candy just dies. Uh, he wings doors and dies. So I managed to stay alive for 10 minutes. Candy died within 30 seconds. But that's a different story. Big thank you to the uh, Sabres there. They really came in and saved me. And um, all in all, yeah, the A-10 really can defend itself by sticking in a turn fight. And really, you shouldn't try to turn fight an A-10 if that farmer had have extended when he had the chance, came back in for another run, he could have easily cleaned me up. But he didn't. Uh, so anyway, uh, let me know what you thought of that. Let me know any other tips, anything I could have done better to maybe get the actual kill in there a bit earlier. Uh, anything the farmer could have done to end it in his favour. And otherwise, I hope to catch you in the next video. Until then, remember to be kind to yourself and everyone else. Cheers.